students before starting neet 2025 preparation you must know what is the eligibility criteria that is the age limit qualification number of attempts and what is the paper pattern of neet exam and also the new syllabus and difficulty level of neet 2025 because of what has happened in neet 2024 so let us start with the eligibility criteria in eligibility criteria first thing is age limit so you must be 17 years old right that means beta you must be born before 31st of december 2008 and there is no upper age limit here and also for the number of attempts there is no limit on that right next one is what is the qualification here so you should be class 12th pass or you should be appearing in class 12th in that particular for example 2025 year right next one is beta what is your subject in class 12th so that should be physics chemistry bio along with english and with that for general category you should have 50% overall percentage including practical and theoretical subjects now students here one important thing is that even if you are passing from grace marks like in physics chemistry or bio you are passing from grace marks but your overall percentage should be at least 50% and for reserved category it is 40% for pwd category it is 45% this is the minimum right next is beta you can be from any board state board icsc board cbsc board or private education and also open schooling students are also eligible for this particular exam and now students even if your bio is in the additional subject then also you are eligible for neet exam right now let us see what is the paper pattern right so as you know you have four subjects here that is physics chemistry botany and zoology all subjects have equal distribution of marks and uh, questions for example for each you have 45 questions right so students basically that is divided into two parts that is section a that i am representing by blue pen and section b that i am representing by pink pen so in a section you have 35 questions that are compulsory all of them are compulsory it should be your choice you can answer that or not but there is no choice given in that but in section b you have 15 questions but out of that you can answer 10 questions and also one important thing that it's not like from like from from 15 questions you have answered 12 questions that right? you will say all of out of those 12 whatever is correct they will give me the marks according to that no they will give you marks according the first 10 attempted questions right only first whether they are correct or incorrect doesn't matter only first 10 attempted questions will be counted here right so do that very mindfully then bachcha you have next same in chemistry botany and zoology that means for each subject you have 45 questions here right that you have to do they will give you 50 questions but you have to attempt 40 45 questions now bachcha for every correct answer you have plus 4 marks for every incorrect answer you have minus 1 and if you have no if you have unattempted any question then there will be no positive or negative marking there now students next one is that when you multiply this by 4 if all the questions are correct then you will get 140 plus 40 that means 180 in your each subject that should be your target right so that counts to 720 marks in total and you will be given 3 hour 3 hours to uh, 20 minutes for that okay that will be time allotted to you now next one is what is the syllabus ma'am so syllabus is same as 2024 as of now if you want a detailed video on syllabus do write it in the comment section next one is difficulty level so guys what has happened in neet 2024 you know nt will definitely bounce back and there will be you know little bit tough not tough i would say that will be more of conceptual right you should have more conceptual knowledge your core concept should be clear the questions may be not critically they will have critical thinking right they will have statement based question match the following question more and more assertion raising question you will see you will see diagram based question that means your concepts should be very clear right for that you should start your preparation now onwards and for that students you should also go through the syllabus in detail and practice as much as you can for that we have this one thing for you that is neat pedia in this beta we are providing you full neat syllabus physics chemistry bio in detail then we will be giving you mind maps and revision notes for your revision and then we for practice we will be giving you most important previous year questions from past years and we will be giving you last 5 year last 2019 to 24 
full question paper with the answers and need 2024 question paper with the video answer analysis right then bacha for need 2025 and need 2026 questions uh, and need 2024 aspirants you can also do all india rank and college predictor here right and one thing that is applicable for NEET 2024, 25 and 26 aspirants, that is the list of colleges, right? You should always have a target that these are my targeted colleges, right? For that, you need to go through those colleges, right? Then, bacha, last but not the least is the free mock test, right? You should always attempt mock test from now onwards. I think in a month, one mock test is so very necessary for you, right, students? So, if you have any problem here, you can write it down in the comments comment section and if you like this video do like do smash the like button here and also subscribe to the channel i am waiting for your beautiful beautiful comments in this right bye bye take care see you all in the next video jai hind